Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to bring you my chicken cordon bleu. I have been having this requested here for years, and I don't know why I haven't shared it with you earlier. I just have like all these recipes in my head all the time, so I figured I'd share it with you. This is really simple and really easy. Now, a lot of different chicken cordon bleu recipes, some of them have like a bechamel sauce on top. I don't personally serve mine with a sauce because I really like the cheese and mustard and ham, you know, it, it just kind of all works together really well. I don't, I don't need to add anything else to it, but you absolutely could use a sal a serve a sauce over this. But my recipe is easy and simple, and it is just starts out with some basic chicken breasts. These are boneless, skinless chicken breasts, which I'll talk about in a minute, and we'll, talk, we'll work with them in a few. I've got some Swiss cheese and some ham here, two slices of Swiss and four slices of thinly sliced ham, a couple of eggs, breadcrumbs, flour, Dijon mustard, fresh thyme, salt and pepper, vegetable oil. That's it. Get your oven preheated to 350 because we're going to start these on a the skillet and then pop them into the oven to finish cooking through. And now we're going to get started. The first thing I want to work on actually is just whisk my eggs because I want to be able to have everything ready because once I touch the chicken, I don't want to, like once I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wash my hands of course, but I kind of want to get everything prepared ahead of time. Now, essentially for me, chicken cordon bleu has always been a chicken cutlet that's been stuffed with ham and cheese and I always add Dijon and a little fresh thyme and it is absolutely delicious. Um, some places I've had it where they serve a sauce over top. I honestly cannot deal with a sauce on top of a breaded chicken cutlet stuffed with cheese and ham. It just ends up being too much and the flavor of the chicken and the ham just kind of all gets burned down by the sauce. So I leave the sauce out but you know to each their own. So it makes the world go round and round and round. <laughs> I'm also just going to season my flour and my breadcrumbs. I'm not going to season the actual chicken because I'm stuffing it with ham and cheese, which is relatively salty. So I'm going to keep that as is um, and just season my layers, which is the flour, the egg, and the breadcrumb. You always want to make sure to season every layer of the dish so that it is, um, you know, on point. Now I'm going to grab my really sharp knife and then go on, on cutting up the chicken. Now I've got my chicken breast in front of me. This is about a six ounce chicken breast and what I'm going to do, boneless and skinless, trim it of any fat if you want to, I'm going to open this up like a book. I'm not going to go all the way through. Now obviously that's going to happen. It's just the way the chicken breast, you know, is. Got a little, ten that's the tenderloin right there. Uh, but what I'm going to do, it's the size of a tenderloin. <laughs> what I'm going to do now, use my clean hand to touch the box of the wrapping, of the plastic wrap. Take a piece of plastic wrap, put it over the top, and I am going to pound this out until it's much thinner than it is now and looks much bigger than it is. Um, I would say it's between, it'll be between an eighth and a quarter of an inch thick. You don't want this to be too thick because it's going to be much more difficult to roll. So the thinner the better, but don't go too thin that it's like see-through and you have holes everywhere because that defeats the purpose of keeping everything in one place. So I'm just going to do that and then we'll carry on. That looks great. That actually looks, from this, one, this side, it looks like a whole chicken. That's really weird. But you know. Okay, now. Take Dijon mustard. I'm going to take a little bit of Dijon mustard. I love Dijon mustard with anything ham and cheese. So essentially, this is just, you know, getting stuff with the ham and cheese. So I'm going to put just a thin layer of Dijon mustard and just pretty much cover the whole surface of my chicken breast. And then I'm going to layer with the ham and cheese. But two slices of thinly sliced ham and one slice of, you know, one good slice of Swiss works well. But what I do is I take the ham and I lay the ham down first because what the ham does is it creates a little bit of a barrier between the cheese and the chicken. So in if you know if by any case, by any chance uh, there's any holes in there, then the ham will protect the chicken. The, the ham will protect the cheese from leaking out of the chicken. Making sense? I hope so. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this out, um, roll this, I shouldn't say out, roll this in, and then you can see I start from this, like the inside 
That way I'm left with the very top of the chicken breast. And I've got some toothpicks here that I am going to just secure like so. These are all rolled up and ready to go. Now I'm going to take my time and put this in my breadcrumbs. Now most, uh, most of the times I put it in the breadcrumbs, sometimes I put it in the chicken. It depends on who I'm having over for dinner because I have a few friends of mine that can't really stand a really strong flavor of thyme. In which case I put it in the breadcrumbs and not on the inside because if you put it in the, with the chicken breast, you know, with the ham and the cheese, then the flavor is really strong. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each, you know, each little rolled up piece of breast here with my ham cheese, roll it in flour, dip it in the egg, you know, just the traditional, I don't want to do this with my hands because otherwise it gets a mess and I normally would not care, but I'm trying to show you. You know what? When all else fails, go in with your hands. What can I say? And now I've got my vegetable oil preheated here over about medium high heat. I want these to get a really beautiful crust. So I always like to sear them um, in a skillet with hot oil, pretty side down, if that makes sense. Whoa! All right, good. The oil is nice, nice and hot. We want that. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this one. What I have here, right next to me over here, is a baking sheet that I've just lined with some aluminum foil. And then I put a rack, like a cooling rack on top of it, because that's what I'm going to sit these on when they go into the oven. And the reason why I do that is because the rack kind of helps these stay elevated and therefore getting really nice and crispy all around instead of the bottom getting really soggy. We don't want that. So I'm going to put the other one down, wash my hands, get these to get nice and golden brown all over, and then we'll flip them around and show you what they look like. Now that these are really beautiful golden on all sides, it just takes a few minutes. I'm going to pop these into my oven that have been preheated at 350. And you'll need to keep them in there between 10 to 15 minutes or until it is completely cooked through. You can check it with a thermometer. If it reaches 165 to 170, you're in good shape. Let them rest for a few minutes and then we'll be ready to cut them up and dig in. These were in the oven for about 12 minutes. I'm just trying to take out, if I can grab it. Oh, here we are my toothpicks so that I can cut into this baby. Look at that. I mean, it is gorgeous. Look, it's got a crispy crust. Try not to break the crust as you cut this. Do your very best. Oh, look at that. It smells incredible. It's nice and crispy on the outside. Still really hot, but I can see when I put my knife to give this a cut, I can see that the chicken is still very juicy. Let's see if I can show you that. Oh yeah, look, if I pinch it, that's when you know it is cooked perfect. Ooh, look at the cheese, look at the cheese. Woo! It smells amazing. Okay, I am gonna go grab a fork because I can't take this anymore. This is torture to me. <laughs> this looks amazing. Decided to put it on a pretty plate because you guys are like my friends, and I want it to be presentation. Looks good. Mmm. 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 It is crispy on the outside. It is cheesy. That Dijon mustard and that thyme are like such stars of this dish. Mmm. 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 Perfectly cooked. Really juicy. Nothing is overpowering. If you make this recipe, I think you'll really understand why. I just love it as is with nothing else on it because it just, it is what the dish should be in my opinion. It's still cheesy, it's still salty, it's still fantastic, but without having it glopped with the sauce and make, I find that the sauce makes the crust really soggy anyway and nobody wants a soggy crust. Go to lauraimthekitchen.com to get the recipe. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. This is a really easy one, guys. Give it a try. Let me know how you like it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.